Hello, everyone. It is your old pal, Living Dead. And I'm back with the first wad ever created by uh, Doom Wads, the YouTube person who makes all the cool videos about everybody's Doom levels coming out every week. Uh, they go by a different username on the forum. I'm not even going to begin to try. The forum being Doom World, by the way. I'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce it because I'm just not going to. Doom Wads is way easier for me, so that's what I'm going with, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, this is the first map they ever made. Uh, recently, I assume, so let's take a look. Boom compatibility. 104 monsters and two secrets. Nice little detailing here in the starting area. And I like what we got here. Uh, let's see. Oh, so satisfying. Wonder how many monsters that was. That was 40. So that didn't feel like 100, but... Good, cool detailing here in the beginning area. Textures are... Nice and, uh... They go together pretty well. I, I mean... Pipe Wall 2 is like my favorite texture in Doom, so, you know, easy to... Give that one praise. Some cool little geometric detailing. Got this little side, little water area and some broken concrete. Yeah, we're off to a pretty good start. The uh, really long texture here is a little, you know, on the basic side, but it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Um, the way you can do to make this kind of thing just a little bit better is make sure that you are making your wall uh, an increment of 128 or 64 uh, units and uh, you won't have to worry about what to do when the texture like awkwardly cuts off like that right there just an easy quick mapping tip let's go ahead and see what's behind door number only door that we found so far all right a nice little bfg outside a little computer area Oh, I just walk right out. I wonder if that was intended. Yeah, maybe so. Well, that's a pretty big secret of BFG. This seems like it's going to kind of change the pace of things, but maybe the next room is going to be like another spam room or something. I don't know if I should use this or hold on to it. Blue key? Is there a door I missed? Oh. Yeah. Just gonna go ahead and nip this in the bud. Definitely not. You're gonna do that the hard way. Nice. BFG made a pretty big difference there. But it wouldn't have been too manageable with the supplies already provided, so... Good way to balance that, you know. Maybe even by making it easy, it's kind of like, yeah, I think most people are going to probably get the BFG and deal with that fight. It's like the really obtuse people who don't find that secret are the ones who are going to have to do it the hard way. But I expect most people to get it. And then in that case, it's like, why didn't I pick up all the cells, by the way? You don't really worry too much about if it's, you know, too easy with the BFG. You just kind of expect people to do that. And it's like a more of a fun thing. There's something, there's a place in the gameplay for... You know, gimmies. Just 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 throwing the player a bone every now and again. Somebody's confidence or the pacing can very heavily be impacted by that. You know, Doom doesn't always have to be about like making complex combat scenarios. There's not one uniform objective that steers every ship of every author every time they set out to make a map or a series of maps. So, yeah, this is looking pretty interesting. We got lots of supplies here. I'm going to go up. I didn't realize this only goes up one way. Um, oh, I can't get up there right now. So maybe that's like, oop, maybe that's for like part two of the fight. I'm just going to hang on to this for a second. I don't know what to expect. 
Uh oh. It's getting corrupted. This is pretty bad. Oh, pain elementals. Whoa. I'm gonna grab this now. This is probably a good time for that. Ah, man. The stupid revenants keep, like, walking away after I fire my shot. There we go. Oh, I don't have the chain gun. I'm like hitting your, sitting here mashing the four key, and I forgot I don't actually have the chain gun. Uh, I'll hold on to that for a second. Want to just make sure I understand what's going on in this place first. Oh, I see another secret. I can, I think I can run across these pillars here, and maybe get to the extra stuff. I almost thought this would be like a two-stage fight. I think I can get across the top here, so let's just go ahead and do that. Yeah, I mean, I'm done with the with the the map at this point, so I could have used the I could have used the uh, the the BFG the whole time, but I kind of enjoyed doing that with the rocket launcher. It wasn't that hard, and the BFG would have just made that completely easy. So, oh, I need to get the red key now because I believe I'm done. Yep, 100%. So just grab that. And is this the exit? Cool. That was fun. That was a good map. Go back and just take one more look at it. Uh, whoops. ID Clav 01. We'll just do this. Why am I doing that the hard way? I like to just kind of look at things every now and again. Oops. I love this opening. It's... It's a really fun way to start a map, just to get the rock launcher and blow up a whole bunch of imps. It's, uh, maybe a little... Not really, I won't say gimmicky is the right word, but, you know, I mean, there's not a whole lot to it, but it's still just kind of a fun way to, to get things going. I don't have a problem with it, I think it's nice. Uh, I like the detailing in this area. Uh, the texturing is maybe a little bit on the basic side that's just kind of, you know, the the textures repeated all the way across, but we're just talking about somebody's first map. They're just kind of messing around, feeling the whole process out, you know, probably, or, you know, maybe they've opened the editor m multiple times. This is the first one they, you know, committed to publishing. Either way, we're looking at it, you know, we're not, we're not over here, like, trying to tear this, this map down or anything like that. I'm just pointing out a couple of things, you know. Um, but it still looks like a pretty... The, the detailing is still pretty nice. You can, uh, you know, next steps is, um, you know, if you want to kind of begin thinking about where to take your detailing next is uh, try to uh, break this texture up, even just start with something like that. You know, the pipe wall too is fine to, to, to array like that. You just kind of flood fill it and forget about it. Uh, but for the computer texture, you could think about how you want to break it up. So the different monitor segments, like after the texture repeats, um, you could make the the next you know 128 wide sector or something else like one of the border textures like you know just example you could make it support three and then you go back to the computer texture and then back to support three stuff like that uh i would do something you know, different than that and my but that's just a quick example to to throw out there um honestly though i mean i like the secret i like that we got this nice little outdoor area to give the map some some contrast between just being completely indoors and that's what i think makes a lot of like early maps by people feel like a little weird because it just kind of like a series of corridors strung together and in, in this 
for me, it kind of feels like almost like it doesn't actually exist in a real place. And I think even going to the extent of like making um, a, a very basic outdoor area with some honestly pretty nice looking decoration. I mean, with two textures, you got ash wall. I don't know if it's ash wall or ash wall two and whatever this one's called. I can't remember. Uh, and just by varying them up and changing the sector heights and se sector shapes, you've got a very, you know, reasonably convincing uh, outdoor area with some of the trees and stuff like that. You know, for the most part, unless you find the secret, you're not going to be able to see it up close and like hyper detailed. Um, you know, looking like the re there's other parts of the base ex that exist that you don't get to go to. Just kind of give the place a s slight more sense of actually being real than just feeling like a video game level. Um, neat little computer area. Same similar observations about the texturing is that if see like right here you've got the text the the sector the same uh, you got it you know in, in an increment uh, the 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 sector length in an increment that makes the texture repeat correctly, and that looks good. Uh, yeah, I mean just a nice little classic wad vibe kind of going on here good alternating use of the light and the dark areas to give some contrast that way i love the flashing light for some ambiance um the blue key fight was fun or the the red key fight was fun i should say good good little arena having uh revenants perched up on the top with some lost souls that's a good combination especially if the player is primarily going to use the rocket launcher um I thought this was going to imply that there was a stage two to the fight. So that could be something to kind of like think about next time is like give the when you when you want your like finale fight, think about a way to make it like two stages, you know, come up here and you like hit a switch after you've opened all the walls up and like more walls open or something else about the arena transforms and the player gets access to the rest of the supplies that they could see and like something more dangerous happens and then you get the red key could be an interesting way to like iterate on a on a fight like that in the future. Um, other than that, yeah, pretty solid stuff. I mean, it definitely has the makings of somebody's first map or the first few maps they've made, but um, I've seen maps that look pretty bad for somebody's first map, and, you know, that's being generous. And um, I wouldn't count this among those. I think this is a pretty solid uh, showing for somebody's first crack at it. Uh, but I suppose, you know, you could say that somebody like Doom Wads has a lot of opportunity to experience a ton of Doom Wads and and take inspiration from them so good uh student of the craft so to speak uh anyways that's that's my video i've already gone on for almost twice as long as the map actually took to beat that's just kind of my thing i like talking about it at that level good stuff i'm eager to see more from doom wads and see what their contribution ends up being to the to the doom uh lineage other than you know, just making a, a series of awesome review videos every week to kind of preview what's come out. If you haven't checked out their channel somehow, which I can't imagine, at this point you haven't at least seen one of their videos pop up on your feed, but check out Doom Wads. Uh, you get a nice rundown of all the different wads that are released uh, every week. Uh, mine have been in there a couple of times, which is pretty cool. I like to that we kind of have this nice little archive of, of stuff that's coming out. So, you know, show them some support if you aren't already uh, on there and... Give the WAD a download. Good stuff. Can't wait to see more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.